Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Zami here with episode three of the Vampire playthrough. Popping out the hideout here that we just found in uh, episode two. And we are still on the quest Eternal Thirst, tracking down the killer. The guy that's leaving all the blood trails around everywhere for us to follow. Fresh blood. The whole oh, building hey. reeks of it. The scent is so strong it makes me dizzy. Not betray your trust. Is this first? I got a scythe? Two-handed weapons. Equip a two-handed weapon and press Y to use its special ability. The scythe, for instance, can be used to parry an incoming attack, inflicting stun damage if timed correctly. Hell yeah, let's try that out. Hells yeah. This place reeks of bloodshed. This creature is bedeviled. I must put it down. Get the hell off. Let's go. Beating his ass. Let's actually switch to the stake and the machete. Yeah, see, I can fight you too, William. Whooping his ass. Used bludgeon. Oh, so this William is William. An honorable man. I could have saved him. Oh no, okay. Mr. Hampton, are you in there? We knew him well. Another lost soul, a kindred spirit. Sir. Listen to the sound of my voice. I am... I'm a doctor. You're suffering from shock. I must return to my flock. They'll stray without me. Oof. Remember, certain skulls are every bit as resistant as we are. Who are you? What do you mean by skull? You truly are a newborn. I should have realized... Wait. You are the woman from the bar. Are you... like me? Can you help me? I believe, sir, I already have. Uh, chase her? Please? By George and the Saints, you've solved the mystery of these terrible murders. Patience, good fellows, I've come to offer help. Just give me a moment to secure my boat. We can leave this awful place. William was not the evil man they claimed. He was just taken by the thirst. He needed his drink. This man requires medical attention. We'll see he gets to the nearest hospital. No, please, I almost tend to my fault. My flock needs me. Yes, go with a good Dr. Swansea. He's resourceful, and I'm sure he'll take good care of you. You'd best come as well. The sun is soon to rise, and you'll need a place to rest. I just need a moment. If I can learn something about what has happened to William, I'll be a step closer to understanding what happened to me. Well, let's get it then. This poor creature can't be my maker. Could it be some subspecies of vampire? I must find a place to analyze the blood. Well, let's go to the boat then.
back we go. Is this dude gonna turn into a vampire? Am I gonna have to kill him on the boat? Ooh, let's get it. Where are we headed? We're on our way to the Pembroke Hospital. It's just across the canal. They'll have a bed for poor Mr. Hampton. William was... What manner of creature was he? Predator, prey, villain, and victim. Who can say? The important thing is that he's been stopped. Duly noted. And the woman? What... Who is she? What woman? No, don't play me for a fool. You used me to locate that... Skull, you must know who she is. And I thought you were gentlemen. You shouldn't talk about a lady behind her back, but I will tell you she values her privacy. Hmm. Were London as peaceful as she appears from the middle of the canal? If only that were the reality of the situation. To be honest, I've always tried to avoid this part of town. Pembroke Hospital is the last bastion between the rest of London and the epidemic. The flu has decimated the East End, and the war still rages. Welcome to the front lines of a plague. This is where you work, Dr. Swansea. I am the administrator of Pembroke Hospital. I thought you were here in service of your mysterious order, the Brotherhood of... Of St. Paul's Stole, yes. But first and foremost, I'm a man of science. A physician, like yourself, Dr. Who? Reed. How do you know who I am? No need for modesty. You are Dr. Jonathan Reed. A surgeon of some caliber and renown, if I'm not mistaken. You are correct, sir. I knew it! I had my suspicions. But when you took the blood sample from the corpse of poor William, I was certain. Dr. Reed. Marvelous. Dr. Who? <laughs> Have we met? I attended three of your seminars before the war. I have the utmost admiration for your research. And what a turn of fate. England's most esteemed blood specialist returns to London a vampire. <sighs> that word, again, from a so-called man of science. I understand. Traditionally, the role of science is to refute myth, but when myth walks among us, the Brotherhood of St. Paul has dedicated its purpose to their study. There's so much for you to learn. Can we go Not forward? That. You are right. Well, then let me be blunt. Join my staff at Pembroke Hospital. As a physician. I suspect you'll not find a better post of employment to contemplate your uh, predicament. This is sudden. I was returning home to see my sickly mother. But alas, that was before contracting this... affliction. Dr. Reed. Take a moment to consider. The post would be for the night shift, providing a good explanation for your absence during daylight hours. You'll be adequately reimbursed and have a place to hide. I even had the forethought to bring some clean clothes. Thank you. So, what do you say? Let's it do seems it. I have little choice, but yours is a generous offer, so I thank you. Brilliant! Oh, Jonathan, this is one for the book, and the beginning of a beautiful friendship. I hope so, sir. This game is beautiful, man. It's not really high resolution or anything, but it's still just a good-looking game. It's kind of like during War 1918... London when there's a plague going on and Don't there's just, just so lose much happening. It, thank goodness, I was beginning to be concerned. Worry no more, Nurse Crane. For I bring good news. Oh, Doctor, what a night. We lost two more patients. Nurse Scow said she couldn't take it anymore and resigned. Yes, well, I'll make a new rotor in the morning. In the meantime, find a good bed for Mr. Hampton. Be sure to pay attention to his needs. Of course, Doctor. Oh, and Dorothy? Yes, Doctor? Dr. Reed here has just returned from the front. He served King and Country and will be joining us here at Pembroke. We're very lucky to have gained a surgeon of his talent, and one so experienced in blood transfusions. That is good news indeed, Doctor. 
Oh, yes. Here at Pembroke, it's not what we have, but what we haven't. It's only thanks to Nurse Crane and the staff that our ship doesn't sink. If you have any questions, just ask her. Duly noted. Thank you. Your Edgar. assistance is required, Dr. Swansea, immediately. Welcome aboard, Jonathan. We'll catch up after my rounds. Coming, Nurse Crane! I'm coming! Dude, Jonathan's a tall bitch. Chapter 1. Take me to a hospital. Oh, shit! Rotten or crispy, each heart contains the seeds of life. Drink at this river, dry it all. Hello, sir. Oh, come on, you bastard! I won't bite! Sir, please! You've lost too much blood. Calm yourself. You think I didn't notice? Stop your staring and get me to an hospital, you ass! I'll kill you, I'll let you bleed, be more polite. Insult me again and I'll put an end to your misery right now. All right, all right, sorry. I am in pain here. My guts are spilling out onto the street and you're yabbering on. Yes. Fair. That's a very nasty wound you've got there. Take my word, I was... I am a doctor, Dr. Jonathan Reed. <sighs> Name's Clay Cox. I'd appreciate you helping me to a better place, Doc. Follow me, Mr. Cox. Let me assist you to that better place. Clay Cox. The blood quality indicates how much XP you will obtain from a particular citizen. The higher the blood quality, the more XP you get. To drink the blood of your prey, you first need to mesmerize them to lead them out of sight from others. Your mesmerized level must be equal or higher than the citizen's resistance. with him the dance of life and death. Oh, I didn't even read that. So you hold A to embrace and then you eat it. In the back, you bastard! Didn't have the guts to fart me. Fuck you. I'll kill you. The district will soon suffer the consequences of your action. Okay, so you actually have to. Wow, so you actually have to figure to out. A life. To embrace its most intimate secrets. Such a burden. Such a divine. It's locked. It's locked, he says. Okay, yeah, that's crazy. So if, if you attack people like citizens and stuff, you actually get... Like, people that come and find you, I guess? Or come and try to find you. This coat's bad, too. It looks good. Doctor, where have you been? I've little time to play hide-and-seek with new staff members, no matter how illustrious they may be. I apologize, nurse. I needed some time to myself. This has been the longest and strangest night of my life. You delivered Fair. poor Mr. Hampton from a terrible fate. The means to that end should be of little concern, Doctor. Thank you, nurse. What can I do for you? Dr. Swansea insisted we provide you a quiet office. You'll find it on the second floor with your name on the door. Thank you. Nurse Cray, isn't it? Yes, Dorothy Crane. Welcome to Pembroke Hospital, Dr. Reed. Your office has been prepared. Thank you. Let I would like ask to ask a, a few questions first. What kind of man is Dr. Swansea? 
Well, you accepted the job from him. I thought you would have known about your employer. Hmm. Thank you, Nurse Crane. I don't like the back talk, Miss Crane. Okay, so our room is on the second floor, it said. Dr. Swansea is right. This place seems perfect to conduct my research. Said it was on the second floor. This is the second floor. It's locked. Surely this isn't my office. Ah, Dr. Reed. This must be the place. Holy... It's definitely away from prying eyes. Relegated to the shadows. A kingdom of my own. At least I won't be sleeping in a coffin. Heh. <laughs> Fair enough, yeah. You first need to analyze the components you found to unlock new recipes. Click on the... To analyze components. Click on the what? Oh, okay, to analyze. These are the ones I have to analyze. These are like the treatments and serums I've discovered. Perfect. Light regeneration serum. Regenerate 300 health points instantly, then 150 health points over 15 seconds. That's all the stuff we need to make it, damn. William Bishop's blood is much more unstable than human blood and shows extensive mutation. But this is not what happened to me. I must keep on searching. The sun is about to rise. I can feel it. I'll continue tomorrow night. I have so much time now. Oh, glass vials, let's go. No. Not reading all that. I'll probably read that off camera, to be honest. I don't want to bore you guys. Refill our ammo. What's in here? Aluminum powder. Hell yeah. Can I make any of the uh, things now? I need ferrous tartrate and sodium hypochloride solution. I can evolve again, though. I'll tell you that. Ooh, I can increase my health again. So I'm trying to figure out what all this stuff does and, like, what all it's good for. Hits, one hits absorbed. 30 seconds in between. 20 seconds in between. What does it do, though? You will block your target's blood in their veins, making them defenseless. Okay. It's easier to kill something that can't move. Blood barrier. You create an invisible barrier absorbing direct damage until it fades or is destroyed. Hell yeah, let's do that one. I keep forgetting we have to confirm. Okay, major district events. Every night, the consequences of your actions may improve or degrade the district's health status. It can also be degraded due to diseases spreading among citizens. Okay. The more lives you take, the unhealthier a district becomes. If a district's health status drops below the critical threshold, it will plunge into chaos. It is for you to decide of a district's fate. Ah, oh, my bad. Ooh, I'd gain 6,000 XP from him? Shouldn't have killed that guy, I guess. We'd probably be healthy, but still. Oh well. If I'm to stay here until my research is complete, I'd better learn to hide my true nature from the mortals. But what about...
about my thirst for blood. Chapter 2. Night Shift. Alrighty, everybody. I'm going to leave episode number 3 here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, like, subscribe, comment down below any little secrets in the game that I might be missing or anything I don't know about. This is my first playthrough of it. As always, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have a great night. <laughs>